Today, we'll be diving into data structure called stack. Let's imagine you're placing plates on a counter. How do you access the last bowl? Well, to be fair, you can lift everything and just take the last one out, but that's not fun, so let's do it like this. You take the topmost bowl and put it aside. Then you take the topmost bowl again and put it aside again. And you keep doing that until the last bowl. Then you can say that that is a stack. Another example are undo and redo operations on your computer. So everything you do gets stored inside a stack and when you want to undo that, last thing you did is on the top of the stack waiting for you. Let's now hear the definition of stack. Stack is a linear data structure which follows a particular order in which the operations are performed. The order is often called LIFO, last in, first out. Let's take a look at how we can visualize the stack data structure. The adding operation is called push and the removing of the top element is called pop. Let's now look at how to implement a stack. We don't actually remove things from the stack. We just update the pointer to point to the current data. As you can see, we have a stack of size 500 and our pointer is initialized to minus one because our first element will be located at zero. And we just have a simple isEmpty method to check if our stack is empty. And it's only empty when our pointer is at minus one. Let's now look at push operation. First, we check if our stack is full by checking if our pointer points to the last element. If so, we just return false. If it's not empty, we add the element. How do we do that? Well, you just increment the pointer so it points to the next space, but the next space is empty, and you add data to that location. And now you are again pointing to the top of the stack. Our stack pointer always needs to point to the top. And lastly, the pop operation. Again, we first check if our stack is empty. So you check if it has zero elements. And if it has, we return false. If it's not empty, we take the first element and then we decrease the pointer. So it's slightly different than push. In push, you first increment and then add. In pop, you first take the element and then you decrease the pointer. So it points to the top again. That is it for today's video where I showed you how to implement a stack using a single pointer. There are other variations of stack data structure but I'll cover that in a different video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it out and as always let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!